What are the biggest reasons why Etsy shops fail and how can some of those mistakes be avoided? Yeah, so I think the first thing is because Etsy is a platform for uh, creatives or artisans, they're going to bring their emotions to the market. So if they really love crocheting, if they, if they really love pottery and they bring their emotions to the market, they try to sell their craft and they find that it's not selling, uh, that could be a, a pretty devastating. Or you might have an opinion about Etsy saying, it's a, it's a big joke, I'm not going to sell on it. But you got to come to the market understanding, hey, what? how can I apply myself? So uh, look at the market objectively and not emotionally and then bring emotions or a passion into your product so I don't even have a dog I didn't know how to sew right I had nothing I have no knowledge of sewing fabric but I realized that that's what the market demands and then I started to apply my knowledge of graphic design uh, to the product after it became uh, began to start picking up traction so it's it's uh, hold off on your passions for just a little bit uh, apply yourself to the market on what the market demands and then start bringing your passion into it and find ways to integrate it within your product to stand above the competition. So when you first started in your own bedroom, um, profit margins, I'm assuming they were closer to 70, 80 until um, you started accumulating more. Actually, it was even less than, so it was less because we're making more profit now because of the machines that they're doing a lot more work and faster. Um, so so yeah, yeah, when you start off, your profit margins are smaller unless you charge an arm and a leg for your dog collar, okay. which a lot of people do because they don't have a process, they don't have a system. It takes them 30 minutes to make a dog collar and they will charge 50 to 60 dollars so yeah and vice versa it takes you five seconds yeah well not five seconds but it, <laughs> right now it takes us about a minute and a half to two minutes to make a caller from start to finish are there any underserved niches on etsy so if somebody wants to start a shop are there any good categories that you think that be very successful for them you can pretty much start selling anything that has a large traffic so you don't need necessarily need to focus on some kind of a niche now there are some niches that i would love to go into that i don't have the time for uh, but i think children or kids like uh kid aprons um, onesies, uh, pacifier clips, that's what my wife started to kind of dabble a little bit. And she's getting way too much orders and she's trying to do as least amount of work as possible because we have kiddos and so she's trying not to. But yeah, things like kids. And you can even uh, pick up like a cricket cutter like I was talking about earlier and personalize the, um, the aprons that moms like to personalize for their kids to uh, when they're baking, when they're cooking. That's gonna be selling really well, especially during the summer. So there's so much you can do in the kids space um, that I would love to go in full heartedly, but uh, I just, I'm way too busy with pet products. But with kids, they grow fast, so which means um, if they have more than one kid at the time, they, they're always buying from your store, if you, especially if you have different age groups, uh, sizes for each age group. During Christmas time, you can do matching PJs, so there's so much you can do. And I haven't even begun talking about the wedding products, so. Oh man, Vlad, I love this so much. And I thank you for sharing your thoughts as a business owner of what someone can be doing right now. You just dropped a huge bomb for these people. People. So thank you so much for sharing yeah, that. No what about social media? I mean, are you using Facebook, Instagram on anything? And if so, what are the best platforms and how do you, uh, how do you utilize that? Yeah, actually, uh, so there's, there's different approaches for Etsy and I'm actually taking the approach where I don't use any social media. There's a lot of shops out there that use Pinterest and uh, Instagram and they're really big on that. Uh, but I actually don't use any social media. I focus a lot more attention on the algorithm than the social media because when people come to Etsy, they already have the intention to buy, but they're, when they're watching on Instagram, they could. All right, so what skills did you draw prior to coming in, into Tag Pub? I think the first one is the, the knowledge that the guys that I worked for have you know, bestowed upon me, right? They, they taught me everything uh, they know about Etsy and the manufacturing back end of it. So that really what helped me a lot when I came into the market. And the second one is graphic design. I'm a graphic designer, so I kind of know how to build a brand. Um, and I would also say uh, SEO. I uh, built websites before. I, I did some advertisement for, for companies um, designing their advertisements. So I understood the conversion rates or how to make it say, hey, if it's selling better when it's red or blue and, and, and um, designing according to the conversion rates or con according to the data. So for example, if I'm selling this uh, watermelon dog collar, right? Mm -hmm. And when I'm selling the do watermelon dog collar, do I understand how much traffic looks for that? If, if the, there's a, a good amount of traffic looking for that, I wanna make sure I title my uh, products accordingly in order to start showing up on top of those high um, traffic keywords and making sure that um, if I'm selling a black watermelon dog collar, well, I'm like the closest 
product to those keywords, right? And that's the nice thing about printing your own fabric is because you can really satisfy keywords a lot better than anybody else because you're literally designing to that keyword, which means you have a higher success rate to rank on a given keyword. Searching through Instagram, so they might not be ready to purchase, but if I can put all my attention onto the algorithm on a marketplace, to on the people that are ready to buy, I will have better results. And sure enough, that's what resulted in me getting better sales. Okay. When I did start to grow, I focused all of my attention on the algorithm, that makes sense. on SEO and things like that.